Hi, Mike Simmons here, and we're on my WPHowTos.com site, and this is a blog post which I am making, which has the same title as this video, 15 Ways to Customize the 2014 Theme. I'm making this blog post and this video because I made a video using the 2014 theme, and I made a lot of customizations, but some of the customizations were made using the 14 extended plugin, which unfortunately the plugin author stopped supporting, so it's no longer available. But I am going to show you how to do most of the stuff that that plugin did. Things like uh, making the featured images full width of your page or post, removing this indentation of the content into the featured images, and quite a bit more like removing the left sidebar and centering the side on screen and so forth. So the cool thing about it is I've made it really easy for you. I've made two child themes that have a bunch of code on them already. And if you scroll down the post, Here's one which removes the left sidebar, has all the code for doing that, plus it centers the side on screen. This one keeps the left sidebar of the 2014 theme, but centers the side on screen and has a, some more code on the child theme too, which you can adjust. So all you do is just click on these links and it'll and you can download the file to somewhere on your computer where you can find it. And I recommend downloading and installing both of these onto your site. So let's go back to our dashboard. Let's go to Appearance. We'll just click on Appearance and that'll open up our Themes section. If you notice, I've already downloaded and installed both of these child themes right here. Here's the basic child theme which keeps the left sidebar and here's the one that removes the left sidebar called the 2014 RL for Remove Left. And the way I installed these themes, I just clicked on Add New under Themes. Then I clicked on Upload Theme, and then I just clicked on Browse and navigated to wherever I had the zip files of those child themes located and double-clicked and installed them on my dashboard. So right now we just have the basic 2014 theme installed and activated. So you'll notice it's aligned to the left. Let's go back to our theme section. We'll just activate just the basic 2014 child theme just by clicking on Activate. Come back to our site, reload the tab. And now the site's centered on screen. I'll go back to our theme section, click on the 2014 RL child theme, and click activate. Go back to our site, and it'll stay centered in the screen, but the left sidebar went away. And here is the uh, optional right sidebar, which you don't have to have at all either. Let me show you one more thing about these themes. Under appearance, we'll click on editor. And by default, when you click on editor under appearance, you're going to see the style sheet, which is the style.css file for whatever theme is currently active on your site. You can also open up other style.css files of the other themes you have installed on your site by clicking over here, select theme to edit, and we can look at the basic 2014 child or the 2014 style.css and so forth. What if you've made some tweaks to your 2014 RL child which removes the left sidebar and put these changes in your style.css file right here. And then you decide you want your left sidebar back on your 2014 site. Well, you just go back to themes and activate the regular child theme, but you don't have to lose any of the tweaks that you made to this style.css. You can just copy and paste whatever changes you've made on this style.css into the 2014 child's theme style.css. And you just copy whatever changes you've made and then open up the regular 2014 child just like this and then paste them in here below this line of course. So you'll never lose any tweaks you've made if you make them to one child theme you can always copy it into the other child theme. Let's go back to my blog post on my site and below these zip file links you just scroll down here are some other uh, individual tweaks you can add to your child theme. Now some of these are already on these child themes if you installed them on your site. The center line, you, that's already on the child themes that I, that I have available. And same with this, making the featured images span full width and so forth. But let's find one that isn't on there. Perhaps you want to change your current and link hover color. So to copy the code out of one of these snippets of CSS code to put into your child theme, you'll just hover over this link right here which says copy and click on it. That'll highlight the text and then you can just right click and copy or press control C and copy. I'll just do that. 
Then you just come back to your dashboard and then under appearance click on editor and that'll open up your style.css file, your style sheet for whatever theme you have activated. And then you'll just want to insert these changes uh, below this line right here, which says, uh, I'll just click enter a couple times and then I'll just click control V to paste that new CSS code that I got from my site. Then of course you would just, for this one, you would just uh, put whatever color you'd like right here, which of course you can find by using Colorzilla for one thing. And this text decoration right here, this you can change to none if you don't want the links to be underlined and so forth. So if you do have any questions about this, any further questions, please leave them below the video in the comment section. And as always, keep smiling and keep on keeping on.